It's a once in a lifetime experience that many will witness a second time. We're less than a week away from a total solar eclipse passing across the country. The last one happened in 2017. What's the best way to view a solar eclipse? Good question. Jeff Wagner explains why it can be dangerous and how to safely soak in the site. Staring directly into the sun is never encouraged, except on certain monumentous occasions and with the right precautions. We are so fortunate to see this because solar eclipses, total solar eclipses, are very rare. Thaddeus LeCourcier is a planetarium educator at the Bell Museum. For the people in Minnesota, how will this compare to 2017? This is going to be very comparable to 2017. Uh, in 2017, we had about an 80% coverage of the sun. This year, we'll have about a 75% coverage of the sun. The path of totality, which is the route in which people can see 100% coverage of the sun, is once again to our south, but cutting across the country differently compared to 2017. The main eclipse really starts around, 12, around noon, uh, peaks around 2 p.m., and then finishes up around 3 or 4 p.m. And during the four hour window, Le Corsier strongly advises people wear solar glasses. How do these work? So these are a special uh, polymylar film um, that are coated to block out 99.999% of the sun's light, including UV light, which is that especially damaging part of the sun's light. What are the concerns with looking directly at the solar eclipse? So the injury that is caused when watching a solar eclipse is a thermal burn injury similar to a laser burn. Dr. Sandra Montezuma is an ophthalmologist. This is called solar retinopathy or eclipse retinopathy. When we look at the sun on a normal day, the brightness causes our pupils, the black center of our eyes, to get smaller, allowing less light in to protect our retina. But during an eclipse, the sun is darkened as the moon blocks it, making our pupils dilate or get bigger. That means our eyes are tricked into letting more light in, specifically UV rays that can damage the retina. The damage that occurs can lead to blur vision or distortion or temporary or even permanent visual loss. How quickly can the damage occur? Just a few seconds. Other safe ways to view the eclipse include a pinhole projector, which can be made out of a cereal box. You cut out a hole in it and you project the sun through it. And when the sun comes through, it projects in the back and you can look through it and see that projection. An indirect, yet more involved viewing experience than Dr. Montezuma's final suggestion. I mean, you can watch it on TV. That's the safest way. Jeff Wagner, WCCO News. You can also use binoculars or a telescope, but only if they have a solar filter on the lens. The Bell Museum will have those filters on its telescopes for visitors to use during the event.